Does anyone want this shit? Seriously, that's the question you should ask yourself before you put your product or service out. You should wonder deeply. And the only way that you're going to know this is to test. And this is not for the weak at heart. You must test. You must test again and you must test. Part of the problem with most of the marketplace, and this is why you really don't have to worry about competition until you reach a high level. And at that point, a lot of people will just cooperate. Many people will put out a product and will not test it. They will complete an online course and they will not test it. I know it sounds strange. I know it sounds counterproductive, but most people are not governed by process. One must have a process to make money. First thing you should do in testing your product is once you've nailed down your offer, once you've nailed down your audience or marketplace, you should test four to five times. You should test the headlines, you should test the price, you should test the copy, you should test everything that you possibly can. Now, testing, depending upon the complexity of your offer, it can be very time consuming. This course that I'm, you're into, DMing for fun and profit, I've tested it for almost a year. And I finally figured out some stuff of getting the right people in the right price points. It took me a year. I say that to let you know that what you're doing is complicated, it's time consuming, and it takes a lot of time to put it together correctly. So if you put something out and you're working on your business one month or two months or three months and you're not getting any traction, that's pretty normal. I understand Hustler Porn has you gassed up that you're gonna be a phenomenal success in less than three months. I know it's not true. Failure, setbacks, slide back, that's the norm. And for those who have the mental wherewithal to push past that, greatness and treasures are waiting on you. Now with testing, first thing you should test is the price. And you should lower it, you should have a high price, a low price, a middle price. Because this is something that's funny. I had 30 days to 2,500 and I had the price at $99. Then one day, I just zooted it up to 500 bucks. My sales did not drop off. So what I discovered was I was losing $400 because I did not adjust my price. So you want to start off low, move it up to the middle, and then just see where the sales land. If you move it up 100 bucks and your sales are consistent, then move it up 25, then move it up 50. Now, you will have people it's like, hey, yeah, you're moving up the price. Those people are never, ever going to buy because when the price was low, they would have bought. So do not get caught up in the hype in your comments or whatever feedback you get on your social media because the people who are the most vocal about price are price conscious buyers and they're not value conscious buyers. Value conscious buyers are the best buyers because they see the vision, they see the dream, and they're gonna work really hard to make it happen. Whereas price conscious buyers are just looking at, how can I get this as cheap as possible because I know I'm not really gonna do anything with the information. I may try it for a month, but if I don't pay a lot of money, and if I don't do it, then I don't really lose a lot of money. That's their philosophy and just blow past those people. Now with the testing of your offer, and once you start converting, this is when it gets fun. Because your first thing is your offer, first test should be simple. It shouldn't be complex, you shouldn't have a funnel, you should have none of that. Your goal is to make 10 sales in 24 hours. If your offer only makes one sale in 24 hours and you let it run for a week and it makes five sales, there's a lot of things that are wrong. It may be the headline, it may be the pitch, there's a lot of things that's wrong. But if you nail out an offer that you can get 10 sales in 24 hours, it's just a matter of converting, figuring out what you're doing right and getting rid of what you're doing wrong. Now, part of this process is nerve wracking because you'll be like so close, right? And then it'll fall apart and then you'll have to go back. Because with my testing of Hustle Camp, 
I pushed the limits. I started off at $99. Then I pushed it to 2000. I pushed it and I got no sales at 27, 2800 bucks. So I brought it down to 1500 to 2000. And that's where I got sales. Now, here's another thing. And this is something I did wrong. And you take this with a grain of salt or you can use it in some of your future high end programs. If I had started off hustle camp at 5000, I probably could have got three thousand dollars in sales by lowering the price but that's hindsight now with the testing is in the beginning it should be simple you should have a sample set of 50 to 100 people and you should send them an offer and see if it converts you have to do this and it may doubt make you doubt yourself it may make you feel like you're an imposter because what people gravitate toward and towards and what people don't, it doesn't make sense. You will put out a perfectly logical titled product and people will not buy it, but you twitch it up and you make it somewhat spammy, somewhat hustler pornish, and it takes off. Now, why? Because people are bored and people are looking for excitement and you got to take them out of their current frame, which is a place of boredom, uh, nothing's going on. And then you got to get them hyped to the possibilities of what your course can do for them.